Can Sam come out to play? This is your spooky spot on the Spirit Halloween Trick or Treat Sam Sidestepper. During one of my recent visits to my Spirit Halloween store, which now marks the second time so far I've gone to that store, it's probably going to be at least another two times before Halloween is up, I happen to stumble across the sidestepping Sam. Actually, he's called Sam Sidestepper, amongst a whole selection of merchandise from the Trick or Treat film. It's funny enough that every single year that I go to a Spirit Halloween store, there seems to be more and more Trick or Treat merchandise, and even less and less of Michael Myers, which you normally would consider to be the icon of Halloween. Amongst the several different things there were of Trick or Treat, I found myself some candy, picked up a Trick or Treat mug, I'm sure you guys probably aren't going to be super excited for to do a review of solely just the mug. And then I found across, I stumbled across this rather cute little chap. The price point on this guy, if I can remember correctly, was about 50, I think it was about $57 or so. Don't quote me on that. But the idea is that Sam sidesteps the room, which basically means that there are other sidesteppers that have come out over the years. And it hasn't been of Sam, but the idea is still the same, that underneath this onesie pajama is an animatronic robot and basically just means it's, it moves back and forth and it usually will play an audio clip. Now, Sam's does have an audio clip and it will sidestep back and forth. Before we do any sidestepping though, let's actually get a closer look at Sam himself. One thing you probably already noticed right away is that he's leaning really off to the side and there's really no way around that. That's just the way you get him out of the packaging. You can see, you'll see in a second, how much moving around he actually does. Picking him up, though, he's a good size, actually. He doesn't require batteries. Uh, the batteries, luckily, were already installed on the bottom of his feet here. Uh, funny enough, he actually has two places where you put the batteries in. Uh, he takes AAA batteries, and again, like those batteries are already installed, with only an on and off switch being on this side of his feet, rather than this side over here. Uh, I made sure as well, because I know a lot of kids will go up and I know my daughter as well was going up and pressing this several times. I wanted to make sure at least I got a Sam that was still working and the batteries weren't drained. And luckily, like I said, this one does have still the functioning batteries. What's rather interesting, though, is the activation button is located on the top of one of his footed pajamas. They've sewn it in such a way that it looks like a patch, like would go along with the rest of the patches that are found on his onesie here. You can see these several different yellow patches sewn in place there. He does have the buttons located here on the back. Uh, he's a lot fuller here than he is here. You can kind of feel there's just like these little plastic struts on the inside. The material that they've used for the onesie is kind of like, more like a felt material. And they've painted it nicely to make it look really dirty and something he's been walking around in muddy areas with. Uh, really a nice looking piece. Again, we spin this around so you can see the head sculpt here. Classic looking Sam using that burlap sack with sewn stitch in eyes. Funny enough though, they actually didn't sew the eyes. They must've just glued them in place. As you can see, the actual stitching is done in the same molded plastic as the actual button eyes. It's kind of interesting. They've sewn the front, that little cross that makes up his both his mouth. And of course the main stitch that runs down the front of his mask. And it does look like a burlap sack, even though while you're flipping it up, it kind of looks like it's a different material that they would have used, but at least it's close enough to resemble the mask that he actually has in the film. And like in the film, he is also holding himself the lollipop. Already bitten, as you can see, part of it off. They did actually even have lollipops there. I was almost even tempted to get that, but I didn't want to spend too much this trip. I'm sure I'm probably going to buy a couple of other things the next go around. But he does have the little lollipop. Uh, the lollipop isn't really removable. I mean, you can turn it, but it doesn't seem like it's something that you can actually free from his hand. Any little bit of movement, I'm sure, runs the risk of me actually breaking it. Uh, it would have been nice if this was actually done in a translucent orange as opposed to the solid orange because it's not, it looks less like candy and more like plastic. But at least, at the very least, they did give you the lollipop. And uh, as a whole, it's a nice looking Sam. It's a good size. It fits well on a shelf. 
Um, it's not really a plushy Sam. So of course, you know, when you're looking at him, he looks a little spindly down below, but of course that's all going to play into the gimmick that I'm going to activate right now. So without further ado, what I'm going to do is press that little red button on the top. And as you put your finger down, you can kind of feel there's a little button there on the top of his feet. When I press it, you'll see exactly what happens. It will go on for a little bit longer, and I'm still here, by the way, behind the camera. The interesting thing about it, though, is while they call it on the packaging side stepper, it doesn't really actually side step as if it's going to be moving across the floor. Instead, it keeps sort of localized on the feet here and only just shifts its body back and forth. And you can also hear as well that it plays somewhat the melody from the Trick or Treat film as well as you can hear Sam giggling as well. It's a fun little collectible piece. It's a little bit more expensive, granted, than just getting a regular stuffy of Sam, which I think they actually did have stuffies there of Sam as well. But I like the idea of this one being something I could put by the door, maybe during Trick or Treat. If we are going to be having Trick or Treat happening this year, that is after all. But I think it's a nice little fun collectible piece, especially if you're a big fan of the Trick or Treat films like I have. I have not yet actually watched Trick or Treat at the time of recording this video. It is third on my list of the Trick or Treat trilogy. You know, there's, there's not more than one Trick or Treat film starring Sam, but there is previous Trick or Treat films from the 80s. Trick or Treats being one of them. Trick or Treats being another. One I think was 84, one was 86. And then, of course, we, the one that probably more people are known to remember hearing about was, of course, Trick R Treats instead of the O-R. It's just an R. And, of course, that featured Sam which apparently is now taking up merchandise all over the Spirit Halloween store. Have you seen any of these? If you have, definitely, what do you guys think of these? It's definitely, I would say, something I would recommend picking up if you're a big fan of the Trick or Treat films. I would definitely like to go back and go and maybe pick up more merchandise of Trick or Treat, which seems to be, again, overrunning the Spirit Halloween store. One of these days, I should actually take a photo, if I can, of how much Trick or Treat, trick -or -treat stuff there is in the, in the Halloween stores of Spirit Halloween. If you guys have also, let me know down below, by the way, as well. Have you guys also had a chance to check out the Spirit Halloween stores? Do you have Spirit Halloween stores in your local area? If you if you do, let me know if you've had a chance to check out those stores yet. I'm sure they're still going to be open for several weeks. People waiting to the very last minute, I'm sure, to pick out their Halloween costumes. My daughter already has her Halloween costume. Grabbed that the first time we went. The second time was kind of more so for dad, just so that dad could pick up a few things for himself. And I'm sure we're probably going to go at least another two more times. Today's spookerific review, we had a look at the Spirit Halloween Trick or Treat Sam Sidestepper. Again, he's not so much sidestepping as he's sort of side swaying. I would have called him probably side swaying Sam. If you guys are new to this channel, enjoying the content you're seeing, hit that subscribe button down below. Turn the bell notification on and make sure that, yes, you're coming back because there will be more spooky spots coming your way during the month of Spottober. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.